Good evening, good evening, happy Wednesday. It is the first Wednesday of November. Welcome to a new month. I'm Valerie McDowell, your writer, editor, author, book coach, and consultant here for Write It Out Wednesday. And Write It Out Wednesday, we started way back in 2019. Um, it is a day that we put you back at the top of your writing list, that we know that so many things go on. And I love the term that life keeps lifing. <laughs> and so, so much is going on, but we have to make sure that we put you back on that list because we know, especially as we get into the holidays, that so much can get added to that already busy schedule that you have. And even tonight's I'll Write It Out is going to talk about those things. Now, for those of you who don't know me, that I have been working with writing and time challenge clients for many, many years, and in particular, working with writing and time challenge aspiring writers, writers who want to get their books published. And since 2019, and particularly in the last 30 months, I have helped, we're up to 30, 32 months, so that might have been August, so September, October, now we're in November. So in the last 32 months, we've gotten 33 authors written and published and out the door their books are out. Um, we're so excited about that. I'm so proud of all these wonderful men and women and even one child who got their books finished. And so this is what we do. You know, we help get those stories out of you. We help take you to the next level that those stories that have been sitting in your heart and your soul and your mind, and we help propel them into that written and published book. Hey, B Sweets, good to see you, dear. Happy after <laughs> Halloween and all that kind of good stuff. Good to see you. And so tonight, um, we're talking about don't make excuses, make time. Okay. Don't make excuses, make time. And why? Because the countdown is here. Y'all, we got 59 days until 2022 is a wrap. Halloween is done, except for that candy you heard, hid from the kids. You know, you bought it, but you didn't give it all out. So I'm just saying, you know, that's what we do. <laughs> and then pumpkin spice is everywhere. It's like pumpkin spice, you know, deodorant, okay? Uh, tea and anything and everything, napkins and pumpkins and, you know, candles, everything, pumpkin spice, you know, getting you ready, getting the smells in the in the air for all the wonderful Thanksgiving kind of celebrations. And then if you listen, oh, so faintly, you can hear Mariah Carey warming up. All right. You know, we know it's Christmas once we hear Mariah Carey singing. So I just have two questions for you. All right. Now, you started another book. So have you finished your book yet? Okay. For those of you who are not like B-Sweets, who did finish her book, a second book, and she's always got stuff going on. But have you finished your book and number two, are you going to let another year slip by without getting it done? Okay, so for those who said, I've been trying to get this done, I want to get this done, people have told me I need to write a book, all those things, it's like, all right, 59 days, and it's already 7.03 tonight. So you've got 59 days to go until we're hitting 12.31.22, and then it's a wrap, all right? So, and trust, 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 okay? As an author myself, you know, I just finished my third book, the end of August, and I've got at least seven more ideas of books and counting, you know, just never ends, <laughs> you know, but I, I get it. I know all the reasons why you haven't started or finished, plus some of the favorites, you know, it's like one I heard is every time I get started, it's like 1145 PM and I'm already exhausted. Yeah, I could see how that could happen. Um, have you seen my to-do list? It's like, yes. I have one too. We all have one. And then um, the favorite, you know, the ongoing, the never ending one, I've got writer's block. Okay. And I like to jokingly say, do you have eater's block? <laughs> do you have going to the mall block? Do you have buying shoes block? Do you have buying stuff on Amazon block? It's like, you know, is that a real thing? <laughs> you know, because the thing is, as we're talking, it's about don't make excuses, make time. You like that, huh, be sweets It's like you ain't got no going to Amazon shopping, Instacart, you know, blocks and none of that. You know, and the thing is, um, some years ago when I lived in this other city, there was a gym. I loved the gym. Love, love, loved it. It was, they had, that was the first time I took hip hop belly dancing. Let me tell you, oh my God, the class was off the chain. It was so hot. And what made it even better, because the more you did it, it was like the more you got dressed for the class. So we're talking, I dream of genie outfits all day long. I was like, wait, 
oh, I got to get dressed. Like, I'm coming from work, running, trying to get to this. Because if you were late, they were like, we don't care. No excuses. Like, the name of the gym was no excuses. No matter what you're, no excuse. They don't want to hear it. They're like, okay, get in here and do the work, you know. And so I just love that class. And so the thing is, no excuses. It's like we all have 24 hours in a day. Nobody's getting any extra. And whether we keep daylight savings time or not, you're either going to fall back an hour. If you get that extra hour, what you going to do with it? You're going to sleep later. <laughs> you're, you're not going to get up and write. You got a whole extra hour coming up Sunday to write. What you going to do with it? Okay. Yes. All right. So we're not even saying that. But the thing is, if you haven't finished your book, if you haven't getting started, what's the hold up? Okay. You know, we're letting go of the excuses. You know, we're not allowing that to keep us, you know, because there's so many other things that we don't let get in the way. You know, when it's time to get your money, it's like, you don't have an excuse. Like, what do you mean the company? It's like, no, I, I need my check. The, the the money didn't come into the account. I, I didn't get the direct deposit. I didn't, you know, you know, we, we, we had time for that, <laughs> you know, but it's like, when it comes to your book, when it comes to those things that you say you're going to do, that you're like, I have to accomplish this, this, I can't, you know, because the thing about it is those characters in your book, those stories in your heart, you know, all that stuff, it's not going to let you rest. It's going to be like, now, you know, you need to get up because I am a big proponent of you can do 15 minute spurts of time and get lots of done. Like the power nap, you can do the power right for 15 minutes. You can write, you know, just think about, you know, have a little notepad, put it on your phone. So and set a timer <laughs> when it goes off. It's like you're good. Like I get more done when I set timers on my phone. And I usually do 30 minutes or an hour. It's like, so I'm not distracted. It's like not looking at TikTok, not looking at any kind of other things, not scrolling. Not, oh, that music is so, oh, that dance, I can do that. You know, it's like none of that. I'm writing, <laughs> you know, because we live in a world of distractions. Everything is a distraction, you know, or everything can be a distraction if you if you don't have a goal and if you're not focused. The thing is, enjoy all the wonderful things that technology has bought us. But also understand that what technology has bought us is what someone else wants you to be distracted with. It's like, are you at least accomplishing the things you need to do? You know, and even to, to put it in a way that you reward yourself with those things. It's like, not that you can't watch, you know, your shows on whatever, Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, you know, whatever. But, you know, schedule that also in your day. And you'll be surprised how much more stuff you can get done because you're like, so I waste... <laughs> 18 hours a week and all I said was 15 minutes a day like you know how much more stuff you can get done you know so it's like throw out the excuses it's like because you're probably Christmas shopping and what did I have it's like the way I, I did it okay you know it's like you have to have some systems you know the same way yeah because I, I, I wrote you know the way you pull out those Christmas decorations because I was thinking about it I got two trees it's like I like the pop-up trees like that is my go-to Christmas decoration now pop-up trees they come in all colors so whatever your home decor is pop it up and you good you know it, it you don't have to do all the other things we used to do you know unless you want to but for me because I'm I'm very flexible with things I'm I, I love change and so I love the flexibility of the pop-up trees. And so I have linked the Christmas decor with how you can get your book done, okay? And you know exactly where those decorations are. You put them back every year because you have a system. It's like, I'm going to put them back here. You put them in those containers. You put them in those places, the exact same places, and you pull them out every year. You need to do the same for your book. You need to have a system. You need to have a place where it is. You need to know how to go get them. Because what I need you to do is pull out those chapters that you haven't finished the same way you just pulled out those Christmas decorations. Because I have friends that the day after Thanksgiving, like Friday, they pulling it out. It's up. It's a winter wonderland. It's Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> like they are that ready to make that ship because they are prepared. They know where exactly everything is and they get it done. So think about those chapters as you pulling out your decorations, okay? Number two, that's getting your chapters, then hanging them up, you know, hanging up your decor. That's getting your chapters organized, plugging in the lights, okay? That's getting your cover and layout done, and then placing that star. That's published, okay? That's your published book. So think of Christmas decorations, holiday decorations, as the stages of getting your book done, okay? Pull it out, pull those chapters out. You know, you started on so many. You started this chapter, this, let's pull them together. 
and just, you know, I'm going to be putting out a special. Many of you have started, you know, and the thing that you don't like to do is the editing, the publishing, the layout, all that. It's like, I wrote it, Val, please. I, can you Val it up? <laughs> can you do the rest of this? And I can. All right. I am available to finish the project because I want it done because I don't want to sit on it. I don't want it coming into me and then I'm not finished. No, that's not happening. We will finish your book. Okay. You know, and the thing is, if that's what you need, then it's okay. That's a gift you give to yourself. Let that be your Christmas gift to you. Like I'm getting an editing a publishing package for me so my book gets done. Because you've done the heavy lifting with the writing. Let me clean it up. Let me kind of, you know, finesse it and massage it and get all the words right and make sure that it's a product that we will both be proud of so that when you put it out into the world, it's ready. Okay, it's ready to go. We want you to have a bang up cover. We want you to have layout that looks really good. That, you know, that everything is done. We want you to be proud of having your name on this product, okay? So that the world can hear your story. It can be a funny story, a sad story. You know, whatever your story is, it can be about your expertise. It can be about what happened in your childhood. It can be about what's happening now. You know, the thing is, what story do you want to tell? You know, and the thing about it, you know, if you think about, you know, my schedule's still too busy. I don't, I don't know. It's like, if you need ghostwriting, we can take care of that too. But I think sometimes it's just like, we think about all this stuff and then we just like, oh, put it to the side. I'm going to watch TV. I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to do, you know, as opposed to, you know, if you were taking courses in college or graduate school or something and you pay $20,000 or $50,000, oh my God, I went to my college reunion. I was like, how much does it cost to go here now? Ooh, you know, but the thing is, you pay that much money, you going, okay? You are going. And that's the thing, you know, any investment you make in yourself, you know, no matter how expensive, and I'll just put it out there, because I have invested hundreds of thousands of dollars in making me a better person, okay? In my education, in my coaching, in my training, in, in things. I'm, I'm in a training right now, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, nine to five, Okay. But it is some of the best stuff I've heard in a while, you know, and I just had some of my stuff reviewed for by four different people, you know, giving me sometimes conflicting information about this, that and the other. But it's still like, oh, my God, I needed to hear this. I need to hear because that's how people see you. That's how people understand what's what you're doing or how to make it better. And so being able to receive good criticism, being able to say, hey, you know what, you know what to make this better, or you know what will make this more clear or more direct or funnier, you know, that's what I love. And it's like being able to give and receive it is such a wonderful gift <laughs> that you give to yourself and even to others, because sometimes people want you better. You just don't want it for yourself. So you have to be able to learn how to receive, because even if it sounds harsh, that sometimes it's like, but I, you're, there's no, you know, agreement <laughs> with your, your sentences. The structure is off. It's like, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I just want your stuff to look good because I pride myself on wanting you to look good on paper and in life. It's like, I don't want a bunch of Wahala <laughs> out there with your name on it. It's like, oh no, not on my watch. Okay. We want you to look good on paper, in life, online, you know, in print, wherever you are showing up with your book with your stuff, in your marketing, you know, we want it to look good. Because the thing is, again, the key is making time, not excuses, okay? We're not here to make excuses. It's like, that's what those other people do. We make time. We get it done, you know? And I was telling someone, I'm, I'm in, when they do that dispersonality test, I'm a D. I'm, I'm done. We're getting it done. We're going to do it. I'm like, that's who I am. I get it. I understand. It's like some people, maybe not so much, but that's why people hire me as their book coach because they know they're going to get it done. And so, and the other thing is that when you weigh the impact of the story that you're telling, when, when you get it done, not only the pride you have in yourself, but other people see you differently and they see themselves differently. They're like, well, dang on it. If B Sweet can get her book done, well, I'm going to get mine done too. You know, because the thing is you are, you know, that inspiration or motivation to someone else. So when you take that leap, you take that step, you get out that boat, you, you get off that mountain, whatever analogy you want to use then you help propel another person into fulfilling their dream, their purpose, their goal, their destiny, you know, and it just takes commitment, okay? Just, you know, a few tweaks here and there because many of you are getting stuff done on a regular, okay? You know, you're going to the gym, you've, you've redone your whole food, you're in your clearing closets, all right? You, you got the whole donation set up, you know, ready to go, you know? So the thing is, you can do this because the truth is, 
Every excuse about finding time and resources to start and finish with your book can be solved with a good coach and a few minor tweaks, right? I can help you solve that. I can help you get it done. That's what I do. Um, that's my passion. That's my mission. I'm a book lover. I'm a word lover. You know, I'm the girl that used to read the dictionary for fun, you know, and so it's like, I love words. I love making and using words in a way that jumps off the page, that makes you look good, that tells your story in a way that you're like, wow. I didn't even know that was my story, you know, because you want someone to stop. You want someone to see what you do and feel your energy coming through those pages, feel your story, you know, because these books that you guys are writing, they're inspirational, they're transformative, that people are reading and you know, busting out laughing or, you know, healing, you know, from trauma, from childhood or a marriage or something. And it's like, you are doing work. Like, I tell people often, this is therapy, this is ministry, this is joy, <laughs> this is so many things, and I get to be a part of it all. And I don't take it lightly. Trust, this is an honor and a privilege, I know, that people allow me into their lives, into their stories, and sometimes into things they've never shared with anyone else. You know, so I take it very seriously that I get the honor and privilege to work with such amazing people that I get to share this planet with. So thank you. OK, even as we are in this month of Thanksgiving and everything, thank you. Thank you to all my writers, my authors, all the people who help make this work, all my layout and design people, my uh, assistant um, who helped keep me on task. And so my last point to you tonight, are you willing to share your book? The world needs more books from authors like you. And if you start right now, <laughs> you could be holding your book in the next 90 days. So I'm going to post a link for my calendar for you to jump on, for you to fill out a few questions so we can make sure that we are making, you know, getting the best information about your book, you know, how we can move forward and get you to publish. And then that way you are well on your way. But, you know, sign up now. Spots are filling up quick. We're getting that 2023 calendar book. So we want to get you in as soon as possible. So that's what I got for tonight. It is Write It Out Wednesday. We've been talking about no excuses, okay? Don't make excuses, make time, all right? Don't make excuses, make time. You may hear this again, all right? Because this bears repeating. No excuses, make time, all right? So I'm Valerie McDowell, your writer, editor, author, book coach, and consultant, and I'm here Every two weeks, you know, every other week we're coming on here on Wednesdays or we're just popping up wherever we might be. You never know. It's like I was hanging out with some people in um, um, Bus Boys and Poets in Columbia and that was just amazing. We had a great time posing and hanging out with all, you know, the, the book coaches and, and the word people out there. So you never know where you might see a book coach near you. All right. So I'll see you next time. Take care.